Today's tech news has got me up in the clouds, flying first class, popping champagne, living my life. Oh, the flossy flossy. Are you high at work? <laughs> as you probably know, people don't have as much money to buy stuff right now due to the pandemic, and smartphones haven't been immune to the economic downturn. According to a report from industry analytics firm Gartner, smartphone sales are down over 20% globally compared to last year. Huawei was hit the worst, losing over 27% of sales, but Samsung also saw its numbers dip by over one fifth, <laughs> which is 20%. Interestingly, Apple hasn't fared as badly, only losing about 8%. Whether that's due to brand loyalty or something else isn't clear yet. Hopefully, this will mean lower prices come Black Friday that are actually worth getting up at 5 a.m. for and available online, so we can avoid that whole shopper stampede situation. Not, not advisable right now. Social distance stampede. <laughs> I'm getting there. While we're used to electronics generally getting smaller and sleeker as time goes on, some things really buck that trend. The Xbox Series X isn't going to be the most thin and trim gaming console ever, and now it looks like the rival PlayStation 5 will be following its lead. According to a specialist from a Russian video game publication, the console will be, quote, very fit or about twice as tall as the PS4 Pro. It's basically ATX. It's ATX PS4. It doesn't look like it'll be tower style, a la the newest Xbox, but instead resemble a horizontal box, just taller than what we're used to. But all sources point to the PS4 having some powerful hardware under the hood, and you know what they say, with great performance comes great chunk. Oh. That console's gonna be thick, boy. Damn! That's a thick ass <laughs> boy! If you bought a Core i9-9900K, I hope you haven't thrown away the box. Intel has announced that it will no longer be shipping the processors in those cool dodecahedron packages. Although the processor should still be available for purchase for quite some time, you'll be getting it in a more unremarkable box. With fewer sides? Yeah, well, I like the amount of sides. And it's not too surprising since the new i9-10900K has recently arrived on store shelves as Intel's newest next-gen flagship. How am I gonna roll initiative? <laughs> There's a joke about that already, James. If you still wanna get your hands on a box you could also use as a die in a tabletop RPG, <laughs> then get a move on because shipments are due to stop in a little over five weeks. Of course, it's just a box at the end of the day, but think about the fact that cool trinkets are a multi-billion dollar industry. Just walk into Crate and Barrel and check out all of the weird decor that just kind of sits there. I don't get that. We don't have that store. We don't have Crate and Barrel? <laughs> now it's time for the quick bits, dang it! Brought to you by the Manscaped Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer. It has proprietary skin safe tech to reduce nicks and tugs, and a 9,000 RPM motor with a 360 degree rotary dual blade system. Oh yeah! One charge lasts a full 90 minutes, plus it's water resistant and has an easily replaceable blade. Also check out their performance package, which includes the Lawnmower 3.0 trimmer. Find out more at the link below or at manscaped.com and get 20% off and free shipping on the performance package with code LTT. <laughs> Quick bit! <gasps> no! Heads up, Android users, a certain wallpaper is crashing phones if you set it as your background. What, your face? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently the issue is caused by color space incompatibility between the image and the operating system, causing phones to get stuck in a boot loop. So play it safe and use a different wallpaper, like one of my gorgeous face. You're... you're... Apple's no stranger to irritating customers with high prices, and they're at it again with their current lineup of MacBook Pro models. The base MacBook Pro comes with eight gigs of memory, a rather scant amount considering it's supposed to be a high-end laptop, but the price to upgrade to 16 gigs is now 200 bucks, up from the $100 it cost previously. It's not clear what's behind the price change, whether it's a supply chain problem, or the fact that it's just Apple, that's a good enough of an explanation for me. True. Moving on. Developer Ebb Software is in hot water because the footage it showed of its new game Scorn in an Xbox Series X trailer was actually captured on, you guessed it. PC. Yeah, he thinks it's a PC. Scorn, <laughs> the gaming rig used an RTX 2080 Ti, which should be a bit more powerful than the Series X hardware, although it's not as big of a leap as we've seen with some past trailers. We wouldn't blame anyone if their enthusiasm for the game has ebbed a little bit. You're in a flow state. 
Wow. <laughs> Are you interested in picking up a PlayStation game before the PS5 comes out? This might be a bit of good news then. Sony is requiring all new PS4 titles to be PS5 compatible starting in mid-July. This means the games will have to provide the same features on PS5 as they do on PS4 and run without any technical issues. However, older titles may not fare so well, so be sure to check first. You know what happens when you assume. And the default operating system for Raspberry Pis, Raspbian, has changed its name to the simpler Raspberry Pi OS and added a 64-bit version. The developers say because the OS has changed so much, a new name was in order. I mean, look at me. Maybe it's time I get a new name as well. We don't just this call was you this was anymore. Pu pupa? This was supposed to be for Linus. Linus was supposed to host it, and I was wanted him to say that his new name is Linus Aurelius, and he will have his pie in this life or the next. But now that can't happen. That's our show, so come back on Wednesday for another great episode of TechLink. I'm assuming it's gonna be great, but you know what happens when you assume. There, I see I brought it back. Brought the joke back. You still don't know what happens. To what? When you assume. I... Macaulay Culkin, if you're watching, come on Carpool Critics! Let, oh, that'd be fun. <laughs>